Hi, this is Primary School Made Easy and in this video we are looking at factors. Now a factor is a number which divides exactly into another number and they always come in pairs. Now just a warning, learning factors is really tricky if you don't know your tables. So if you're really not sure on your tables it's probably a good idea to go away and learn those first. Okay, let's get going. So we are going to find the factors of 16. So we need to work out what numbers will divide exactly into 16 or what goes into 16 without any remainders. Okay. So we need all the numbers from 1 to 16 and we look at them in turn and see which ones are factors. So 16 divided by 1. Does 1 go into 16 exactly? Well yes it does. So we've got 1 and 16 go together so they are a pair of factors of 16 so we'll put them in our box. Okay on to the next number. 16 divided by 2. Does 2 go into 16 exactly without any remainders? Yes it does. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So 2 times 8 is 16. So 2 and 8 are both factors of 16 so we can put them in our box. Now, does 3 divide exactly into 16 without remainders? No, no it doesn't. So 3 isn't a factor. Let's put it back up. What about 4? 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16, so 4 is another factor of 16. Now, all the other numbers, we're going to run through them really quickly because none of the other numbers will divide exactly into 16. There are no more factors of 16. So I'm just running through them so you can see. So the factors of 16, the numbers that will divide exactly into 16 without remainders are 1 and 16, 2 and 8 and 4. Okay. Now, assuming you know your tables, let's do it slightly quick, more quickly. So we're going to look at the factors of 30. So we need all the numbers from 1 to 30. But I've taken 16 and 29 and put them separately because anything over half, apart from 30 itself, won't be a factor. Okay, so pairs of factors. One times 30, they're both factors of 30. 2 times 15 is 30, so they're both factors. 3 times 10 is 30, so they're both factors of 30. And 5 times 6 equals 30, so they're both factors of 30. So all the other numbers won't divide exactly into 30, so they are not factors. One last go. So this time we're looking for the factors of 45. Remember they always come in pairs. So if I'm looking at pairs of numbers that multiply together to make 45. So I know 1 and 45. There are no even numbers that I can multiply together to make 45. 3 and 15. 5 and 9. There's the rest of the odd numbers but none of those will divide exactly into 45 without remainders so they're not factors and anything over half apart from 45 itself won't be a factor either. So there we go, factors of 45, 1 and 45, 3 and 15, 5 and 9. Okay, well done, good work. I'll see you again soon.